Uh, hello, um, I just came home from watching the movie The Martian, uh, which is based on a novel by Andy Weir, I think that's how you say it, uh, directed by Ridley Scott and starring Matt Damon, uh, and also other people as well, like Jessica Chastain, who I just learned her name today because um, cause I got really into The Martian and was like looking up stuff on the way home. Um, I really like the movie a lot. I was actually looking forward to this movie a lot this week because um, just this week uh, NASA announced that they had discovered evidence of water on Mars. So that was really exciting and then like I was like really interested in that and this week and after hearing that news I wanted to like wish I could just go to Mars to have a look and stuff like that. And um, this movie The Martian came out this week which is like perfect timing and I was like um, perfect. So. It kind of got me my fix, and it got more than that. It was actually, I got what I wanted and more. Like, first of all, I have to say this movie was so good. I really, really, really liked it a lot. Like, um, the 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 one of the things I really liked about it was just it was very inspiring, because um the main character um oh, I forgot his name, but he's this guy that got left behind on Mars. Uh, he's such a he won't give in and just die like. In this situation, many people I think would probably just give up, but he was just very much like, okay, so the situation is bad, okay, I've got problems, let's just solve them one by one until he gets out of that place, and he just kept on doing it, it was so good. What I also liked was, um, like, the crew, like, the crew that he was um, with, you know, they were very much, um, very, I don't think I'm saying anything that's not in the trailer, but they will they were willing to sacrifice their lives to save him, like one of their crewmates and so I thought that was really cool too. Okay, and on top of that, just the movie itself was just really entertaining, like the way it was paced. Ridley Scott like did such a good job, I think, like of just making the movie uh, accessible to people who didn't like like me, I wouldn't have understood all the physics and science behind it all, but uh, the way that movie explained everything and did everything was very inter interesting, entertaining, kept me on the edge of my seat. Oh, fantastic. Um, Matt Damon's acting was fantastic, like, so good, like, he was funny, and, like, the scenes were, like, it was so realistic, his acting, like, I was just watching them going, oh, gosh, I can really imagine, like, what it would be like to be there, and he pulled it off, like, so good. Um, another thing I liked about the movie was the soundtrack, it was just so fun, and, like, it had, like, a lot of retro music, mostly retro music, actually, and I really enjoyed it. And they had, like, um, just some fun references and stuff, like, yeah, I won't mention all the references, but one, like, fantasy series that I really liked got a little bit of a mention. <laughs> but anyway, I really like this movie a lot. I don't know what else to say, except that it was just very exciting, kept me interested the whole way through. Uh, I have to talk about this, like, uh, one of my favourite movies is Interstellar, which, see that poster? <laughs> it's there. I can do that, that's so cool. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. It's right there on the wall. Yeah. Um, Interstellar is one of my favourite movies, and uh, Matt Damon's in that. And also, this uh, girl, uh, Jessica Chastain, was in it as well, as Matthew McConaughey's grown-up daughter in that movie. So I found it really cool that they were both in that movie and in both in this one as well. And also, um, she re referenced it in a interview, like, they said, uh, oh, Matt Damon's a great guy to be stuck in space with, or something like that, and she said, uh, Interstellar Matt Damon, not so much, <laughs> but yes, the one in the Martian was really good, so I like that she mentioned that. Uh, I don't know what else to say, except that, yeah, I got my fix of what it was like to be on Mars, like, it looked great, like, I, I just really liked it. Uh, it was funny as well, the movie was quite funny, it was, which is what I liked as well, it wasn't just serious and scientific and stuff like that. So I think that's all I want to say about it, but uh, I really like it a lot. Like, because I see a lot of movies and, like, I just love, like, every now and then, like, it's really rare. Like, sometimes it can be years between movies, but sometimes a movie will come along that's just really good. This is really original. I just loved it. Uh, based on this awesome book, apparently. A few of my friends have read it and told me it's really good. And uh, I actually um, saw some quotes from the book uh, from Goodreads. Like, it just popped up when I was googling, and the quotes were really funny as well, talking about like stuff like duct tape and things like that. Anyways, that's all I want to say, uh, The Martian, I really like it a lot.